Hi and welcome to another episode of The Real Show and on this episode uh, we are once again bringing you from the segment of local happenings something that is going to happen next weekend and that is why my special guest today is Zul Fadli from uh, this new establishment called Local Ground yeah. uh, thank uh, you local, oh, You're welcome uh, and local is L-O-K-A-L so yeah. in the Malay spelling yeah, local ground. Local ground. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, before we jump into what local ground is all about, I don't know if you know this, but every time we do a local happening segment, we would ask our guests what their preference for movies are. Okay. Right. right. So you've kind of seen this coming. Yeah. First one, James Bond or Mission Impossible? Oh, this is tricky. Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. G.I. Joe or Transformers? Transformers. We're talking about movies, right? Yeah. Okay. And next one is Star Trek or Star Wars? Star Wars. Alright, my friend. <laughs> Meet the parents or You've Got Mail? You've Got Mail. Hmm, you're a rom-com kind of guy? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Alright, awesome. Okay, local ground. Because this is something that you and a few friends started. Yes. And uh, the grand opening is very soon because I've got an invitation from you yeah. to attend your grand opening. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, just tell us a little bit about what local ground is. Um, so basically, local ground is a. It, it's a shop. Right? It's a it's an apparel store f uh, for seven local designers mm -hmm. and and one. Uh, KL brand. We sort of create a, a new market, a new industry for for Bruneians to, to sort of support local products, mm. um, go for local brands, yep. and then in, in, in another way, I think it it's helping the younger generation to be independent. Yeah, yeah. And you you did mention that all these guys they're quite young, right? They're they're quite young. Oh. They yeah. think they're. One of them told me that. He was still doing his A levels in two thousand and nine. Oh, so that's pretty. That's I, he's making me feel really old. <laughs> yes, same here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there are seven of these guys. Yes, uh, they are all local, yes. and they are kind of like designers and artists. Yeah, and understandably, Brunei doesn't really have a big market, so that's why yeah. anything that supports local artists is I think is a great thing yeah and uh, can you just briefly tell us who these seven guys are yeah um, there are Khalifa Hood um, Rule Clothing Vili Beast uh, Bruland 84 FWDs um, The Apparel Corner uh, Roast and Roll mm, okay yeah and they all in your point of view very different in their designing style yeah, yeah. Um, like Villa Beast, he's got this really bad boy-ish kind of look because the logo has this skull. Mm. So yeah, and in, if if you get a chance to go through his Instagram, you'll see that he's got he's put a lot of work into the designs and his recent project. Oh, it's really really cool. He oh, showed okay. us a video recently of uh, his latest design. Oh, okay. Thing. Well, if, if you can pass me the link, I can link it as well. Sure, great, I will. Definitely, definitely I will. And uh, what is what is the brand that you are doing? Uh, I'm doing, I'm the one odd, I'm not the local one. Uh, I'm the one bringing in the KL product. Right. The KL brand, which is called uh, Benua Clothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, it's uh, partly owned by a Malaysian hip-hop singer. Mm -hmm. His name is Ultimate. Right. He's, yeah, he's actually into a lot of other businesses and this is one of it. And he's, he's quite an entrepreneur as well. Right. Yeah. And did you say that you know him personally? Yeah, I've known him personally back in the day when uh, when I was a radio DJ. Ah. He came to Brunei and that's when we just All right. yeah, got to know each other. So what what is it about Benua that attracted you to want to bring it into the local market? Um, it, it's Benua is uh, basically Muslim wear, Islamic wear for men. Because mm. there's so many stuff out there for women. So when I saw his designs, I thought like, yeah, this this could work here. Yeah. I mean, um, I personally like it, and and it like for example on a Friday, like you wanna if you if you plan to go out the whole day and then 
you don't want to go back home and change. You can just wear the benua, uh, the benua shirt the whole day. Right. Still okay, and you can go for prayers. It's still fine. Uh, it suits yeah. all occasions. So it, it's pretty. Yeah. It's actually pretty. I mean, well, I can't really wear it to work. Right. They haven't designed that yet. But when I, I don't feel like wearing a t-shirt or right. if I go to a function, I don't have to wear a charm like you. What is the shop itself selling? Is it only shirts, t-shirts? Uh, yeah, for now it'll just be shirts, hoodies and snapbacks. So the grand opening is um, next Sunday. Uh, which is Friday. The, uh, sorry, next Friday. I keep getting the dates wrong. Uh, 28th. 28th of August. Yeah, and yeah. is it open to public? It is open to public. Uh, we actually encourage. We've had, we have invites. Um, we also invite the public to come in and join the event if they're free. Mm -hmm. You can actually see what's happening as well. It's, it's, a, it's an open space. I mean, the souk is a, it's a pretty open space. Right. So and we, for, we forgot to mention that it's going to be at the Apple Mall. Yeah. First floor, first floor, the souk. The souk. What is the uh, opening time for local ground? Um, after the launch, uh, the opening times for the local ground will be uh, Tuesday to Sunday, mm -hmm. um, 10 a.m to 8 p.m. exception for Friday which will only open from 2 to 8 p.m. Right. and then close on Mondays mm. yeah and uh, for the f in the near future is there anything that has already been planned for local ground yeah we have a we have something in a pipeline looking at the end of November and December right. and uh, we just we just trying to look at a, at a good time because we know that that's the sort of like the end of the school year and a lot of other people are doing events at that period because you want to catch them before they go on their holidays so we're still playing around the dates but it's going to be um, basically it's going to be a local event promoting local products but something that caters for the youth by the youth Right. Awesome. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I want to thank my friend Zul for stopping by and sharing uh, his new business venture with us. So make sure you drop by the souk at Apple Mall next Friday. Until next time, keep it real.